Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. Alright y'all, I'm going to do something completely different with this video than the other TV show videos I've been doing. Now I told y'all in another TV show video that basically if a TV show has came out a long time ago, like Loki or What If, WandaVision, Euphoria, uh, Arcane, Squid Game, or Moon Knight, I'm going to put those shows in a binge watch format which basically I'm going to watch every episode of that season and I'm going to put all those episodes in one video. But say, if it's a show like this, Obi-Wan, that is currently running, I'm going to do something completely different, which is depending on the show and how many episodes is in that season will depend on how many episodes I will put in a video. So for this show, Obi-Wan, I'm going to put two episodes per video, which is going to be three videos. But hey, if you like to see my full length movie reactions or my TV show reactions, if you like to see this full series, you know, you can click the link down below in the description below to my Patreon. But with all that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this reaction. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Now, before we get into this reaction, I'm happy to say that this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I know, right? I feel like I'm going through a YouTube initiation or something. Now, I know there's a lot of people that already know about Raid Shadow Legends because you see the ads a lot. But for the people who don't know, Raid Shadow Legends is the first game to bring a console level experience to your phone. You can explore millions of character combinations and countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP matches. Now I was thinking the same thing y'all was thinking when these Raid Shadow Legends ads came up, but I finally gave it a chance and this is way before I was doing the ads so don't worry. And it's actually a very good game and the graphics are amazing and the gameplay is so immersive. And Raid Shadow Legends also has over 600 champions with their own unique skills. And there's actually two of them that are my favorite that I've been playing with a lot. See now first right here we got Venus who's an extremely versatile offensive support champion who can perform well in each aspect of the game. And in second, we got Angar, and he just looks so cool to me. He's fantastic anywhere you can provoke the enemy. Angar is an HP Void legendary champion from the Void faction who's focused on controlling enemy teams. See, now what I like most about this game is just building your team, especially when you go into the different modes and seeing who works with who. You know, you got the clan boss, you got the PvP arenas, and you got the dungeon bosses. Here's the main thing, man. Raid's currently running a special Daliana chase event where new and existing players can get their hands on this new champion. All you have to do is log in and play Raid Shadow Legends for seven days until now in July the 20th. Delana is one of the strongest support champions in the entire game. Deliana can help carry your team past many of Raid's tougher challenges. There seriously hasn't been a better time to start, man. To all the new players, listen up. Once you get in game, just type in the promo code MYDELIANA and you can get your hands on everything. Promo code is available from May 23rd to July 20th. But that's not all the gifts for the new players. They keep coming. Hit the link in the description below and you can get a free starter pack worth almost $40 to kickstart your game. We're talking free champions like Miseracord, Tiger Soul, and Romero. 10 Magic XP Brew, 10 Force XP Brew, and 10 Spirit XP Brew. Say, but thank you to Ray Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. You refer to the prophecy of the one who will bring balance to the Force. Wow, they really showing a recap. You believe right it's here? this boy? <laughs> now this is pod racing. I am ready to face the trials. Wow, I'm really surprised about this, but I think this is cool that they added in this recap, you know? A lot of people aren't gonna really watch these movies over again before watching this show. I like the music that they're playing in the background, letting us know what type of tone we're getting into with this show. How do you know the ways of the Force? My mentor taught me everything about the Force, even the nature of the dark side. Only through me can you achieve a power greater than any Jedi. That's so messed up how easily manipulative this dude, Anakin Skywalker, was. By the dark side, young Skywalker has become... Killed young. Gone he is. I will not kill Anakin. 
Yeah, you did something worse than kill him, bro. Make that dude freaking handicapped. I, I have failed, failed you. you. Time for Anakin. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. You were the chosen one. Said that he was trying to set that joint up. Bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. Anakin. This dude was burnt alive with lava and then just had water fall on him. I know that had to hurt. Right. It's crazy how they pretty much just skipped the second movie. <laughs> Cause I know a lot of people say that Attack of the Clones is probably the second worst Star Wars movie or the third worst now since the sequels have come out. Training I have for you, your old master. How to commune with him, I will teach you. Dude, well, they just let us know that Qui-Gon is going to be in this show. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? So you tell me Star Wars get its own like studio intro now? Bro, I wish I would have had your lightsaber, bro. I would have been playing along, bro. Oh my God, I love the green lightsaber. It looks so good. I like what they're doing with the camera movement right here, too. It makes you feel more immersed. <laughs> Yo, this is like reminding me of the scene from Jedi Fallen Order, man. Dude, I appreciate you giving your life for these kids. Oh, 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 oh look at that freaking footwork. Yo, she literally gave her life. Gave her last breath, man. She was fighting it. Oh my God, that's a beautiful shot. Yo, they got me invested already. <laughs> what is your favorite Star Wars movie? It's kind of hard for me to decide which one is my favorite. I also got something very controversial to say. My God, they look good, man. See the way that dude looking, look like he can barely breathe in that mask that he's wearing. It look like he can barely move his head. Okay, this is the controversial thing that I have to say. I did not like Force Awakens. I hated Rise of Skywalker. I felt like that was the worst Star Wars movie ever. But you wanna know what's crazy? I really liked The Last Jedi. <laughs> That was my favorite one out of the whole sequel trilogy. What? The Jedi hunt themselves. Mm, that's interesting. Their compassion leaves a trail. Perhaps the locals are stealing from you. So what is the Jedi to do? Don't do nothing stupid, bro, and bring out your lightsaber, man. There's three Inquisitors versus you. You offer him a place to hide. Fresh water, shade from the suns. But the stories they begin, and they travel quickly. His compassion has been his undoing. Damn, love his eyes, bro, right there. Wow, you are not a strong Jedi if you had to use your hand, bro. You couldn't just use your mind? I thought that was what the Force is. You'll never find us all. <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna do anything. Come on, bro. You gotta think of something better than that. What you have to scrap? Scraps are all we have left. You will forget this fixation with Kenobi or I will relieve you of your duties. Is that clear? I sense great conflict in her. I think she's going to turn into a good guy by the end of this series. Or what she's going to do is she's going to become an even greater threat than she is now. She's probably going to kill, I think that's the Grand Inquisitor or whatever. Oh, this dude, Obi-Wan had a job? <laughs> Yo, that's interesting. I thought this dude was just sitting in a cave all damn day. I know somebody saw him do that, though. Something you want to say? Yeah, your breath stinking. You look ugly as hell. I bet you Shrek pulled more hoes than you.
already this man Ewan McGregor is playing Obi-Wan so perfectly right here it's like he hasn't lost a step especially from where he was in Revenge of the Sith to where he is now and you know he's got so much conflict in his mind and you know dealing with like depression and stuff like gross bro but it it looks great at the same time the effects look good to some extent i've noticed a couple times that the effects look like something george lucas did back in in the phantom menace is that r2 oh that was just like a security droid right there it looked like bait diarrhea oh no lace do you have it i'll give you 50. Man, I don't give a damn about your tribe, bro. I'm trying to make my model ships. I'm bored. Parts stolen. I need a new processor board. Hey, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I got these. Tika, if you're going to steal my parts and then sell them back to me, could you at least clean them first, as a courtesy? <laughs> <laughs> you know the boy got a hustle. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff that I stole from your ass. I've heard the Jedi are all but extinct. This dude lost all his friends, man. It's just so sad, bro. And then him living in this cave doesn't help at all. I actually like that we finally get like a scene like this with a Jawa. I know that they probably done stuff like this with the animated shows. I haven't seen any of the animated shows. Yo, dreams like that probably have a Jedi like explode or something. And I'm talking about like he might do like a force push or something and like it's just out of his control. Master Qui Gon. Master. I like that ending bit of the song right there that they just played. It reminds me of something. I, f I forgot what movie or whatever, or, or a game or something. He's ready. So one of the things that I like about the world of Star Wars is, is just they go like really strong into the genetics. So Anakin Skywalker was a great pilot and Luke Skywalker turned into a great pilot too without any training that much. Oh, he got him some toys. Shoot, I would have kept that for myself. Fuck that little kid. <laughs> Boy, he got enough toys. His uncle can get him some toys with his broke ass. We gonna see some sand people? I thought I saw you in town, but I wasn't sure. I didn't think you'd survived. You're making some kind of mistake. You're looking for somebody else. What are you doing here, Obi-Wan? My name is Ben. How are you just gonna run up to me in the middle of nowhere like this, bro? Like, I don't know if you're trying to set me up or something. They're hunting me. You have to help me. You want my help? Take this. Walk into the middle of the desert and bury it in the ground. Stay hidden. What about the people that need us? What about the fight? Bro, the fight you, is done. You, Superman? We lost. Like, you're not even trained, so what are you talking about? You didn't witness everything that happened? I understand you was a kid. You don't have the memories like I do, but like, come on, bro. Like, be smart. You gotta be kidding me. They really showing Leia? <laughs> I didn't think we was gonna see Leia. Oh, look at them shoes. Oh, them shoes look so adorable. You already know that hair gotta look good, too. Remember, my sister's whole family is coming. We need their support. So try not to make anyone cry. I will let you. Who the hell is that? Uh, who she is this girl? She insisted you would find it amusing, your highness. Oh, you ugly. <laughs> I'm just playing. I, I like her design. That's so cool. There she go, Princess Leia. Looking so adorable. Oh, isn't that a surprise? Seem like this planet right here, they get a good sense of fashion and hair design. 
Ooh, a tri-wing. That's a new one. Winnipulian Ranger. Probably scouting for Mersan pirates. Yo, when I was a kid, I had a droid like that. It was a, a Star Wars droid, but it was like an alarm clock. But you could still like somewhat play with it like it was a toy. I never used it for a clock. You know, I can feel you doing that. <laughs> I knew that girl was just playing with her. I really didn't think that girl Leia was the type of kid that was gonna be a bad kid. But you know, being attracted to a dude like Han, that says something, a little bit of her personality. And uh, she was probably that type of kid. Now that I'm thinking about it, her parents were kind of strict. And you know, when you raise kids being really strict, it just makes them even more rebellious. I want you to stay away from him. We don't need anything from you, Ben. It's just really just gonna make a scene a right lot here, bro. More than that. Is he okay? You don't care if he's okay. You care if he's showing. It's my responsibility, Owen. Well, I'm his uncle. We talked about this. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. <laughs> yeah, don't make me backhand you in front of all these people, bro. That was a low blow. Chill out, man. So leave him on the farm with his family, where he belongs. You got some nerve coming up to me, bro. I'm a Jedi, Ooh. bitch. But it's so cool to see Joel Edgerton in here, man. That dude's career has grown a lot. Dude's a great actor. I love his movie, The Gift. There is a Jedi hiding on this planet. You will be rewarded well. Or you'll be punished. Riva! Hands go first. You have no rights here. We're not under the Empire. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> they ain't taking no bullshit. Shut your ass up, Karen. You know something? What, just because I got this grizzly look and I look like I'm a model, you think I know something? Farmer, right? Wife? Kids? My family's of no concern to they you. They might be. You protect your family. I like that one. Yo, chill out, bro. I just said I'm married, girl. Yo. Yo. That's shit. Like, you back up off me, you feel me? You got me blushing and shit. Oh, you, you want to go? You could protect them from me. Hey, you try to take me away from my family? Like, chill out. The Jedi are cowards. They failed you, abandoned you. There is no point in protecting them. They would not do the same for you. I mean, Obi-Wan could take out these two Inquisitors, man. Save his family. Stand down, third sister. Wow, these other two Inquisitors are kind of freaking wussy, bro. Y'all supposed to be Sith. Y'all over here playing it easy on these people, man. She actually being ruthless. She like, do y'all even know the job description? He's like, girl, I'm part-time, like chill out. This place is beneath us. The Grand Inquisitor was right. You still want Kenobi. Oh, I love the effect on He's his gone. voice. That's so cool. And you won't, you go too far. Maybe you don't go far enough. Okay, I can't wait to see what she does with this character. You know, this is the first episode. I just, I kind of wish that they would have casted somebody with a more menacing voice. I forgot what planet this is, because I know it's not Naboo. I don't think it's Coruscant. Right on time. Oh Lord. shit, they do got Bell. Good today. Shoot, he looking good. I thought he got like really old. Hi cousin. You ain't gonna say hi to me, little dude? Come on, big head. I think it's really cool that they showing us this planet, especially since this planet got blown up, I think in A New Hope. So now when you watch A New Hope, you feel more emotion when the planet blows up. Oh, hey, C-3PO! Hey, or it's just oh, a droid. Thanks, My pleasure. You don't need manners when you're talking to a lower life form. I mean, yeah, of course the dude who has no bass in his voice will say that. You know the difference between you and me, cousin? You know, my father says they never let you leave this planet. They don't want anybody to know about you because you're not one of us. You're not even a real Organa. Ain't they really telling you this? That's messed up. Why would they tell a kid this? You think being like him will make people frightened of you, but really, you're the one who's scared. You've never made one decision for yourself in your entire life, and you never will. I may not have seen much, but I can see that. Mm, you better not talk to Leia like that. Girl, put you in your place, bitch. You owe him an apology. What? I'd rather be digested by a jacko beast. <laughs> this girl got some sass. How old is this little girl? Luke and Leia are supposed to be twins. Luke looks like he's older. Not even a real look on her. Don't ever say that. 
You are a child. You are. Bruh, come on now. And Organa in every way. You know she feels it. <laughs> she knows she's not a real Organa. Plus, imagine the look on your cousin's face when you get to boss him around for real. <laughs> Yo, this show is just putting a real big smile on my face, man. It's just surprising me with a lot of stuff. And I'm just, I'm really liking the characters that they're showing and you seeing just the character growth and seeing the relationships, man. Hello, princess. Why are you here? Oh, of course, he's the freaking dude, man. <laughs> okay, I see you, Leo. Girl, smooth with the slide. Bro, y'all really can't keep up to this little girl. She is like barely running. You serious? <laughs> This is like a home alone freaking scene right here. What? Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope, bro. No ransom, no leads. They were waiting. She needs you, Obi-Wan. Were you a guard then? Or, or a bounty hunter? Only you know how important she really is, Obi-Wan. I mean, does that actually even matter though? All you gotta do is just find somebody who's very skilled. She's as important as he is. I mean, yeah, you're right about that. You know, a lot of people, they don't really acknowledge that. They forget that. I'm not who I used to be. Yeah, you know, I gotta do some yoga, you feel me? You gotta do some stretches. Wow, this dude, Obi-Wan, is really scared. Like at first when they showed his feet, I was thinking, did he do that to himself? But nah. I hope it's Qui-Gon right here. She's headed for Dayu. Oh my God, bro, damn. <laughs> he teased me right there. I thought it was gonna be Qui-Gon. She's my daughter, Obi-Wan. I told you. Then take your big ass and I'm get her. I'm not the man you remember. Well, you're going to have to be. You know how I to shoot a gun? Boy. This isn't about the boy and you know it. You couldn't save Anakin, but you can save her. I mean, I can understand why he's so persistent on Obi-Wan helping him because you know, Obi-Wan, he knows Obi-Wan is probably one of the most powerful people in the universe. <laughs> hey, I really like that design of that robot. You already know they're gonna be selling hella toys to that robot. Damn, really? You break that easy? Oh, I can already tell. We about to get like a badass scene with Obi-Wan, like how they did with Darth Vader in Rogue One. I hope, but I mean, I know he's gonna be a little rusty. Bro, how can you stand to be under that sun all the time, man? Man, if you don't use the force, why you got a shovel? Yeah, yo, lightsaber and Anakin's. He fought beside her father during the war. He'll come. How the hell did you know that that's her father? How does this girl know this information? Darth Vader didn't even know that that was his daughter. Oh, he looked like he got his Jedi robes on, man. <laughs> that was a good shot, bro. Good thing she didn't see that. You told me that's the end of the first episode? What? <laughs> I mean, I guess they just wanted to build this world up and stuff, you feel me? Okay, this is a good episode. Building the tone, building the tension, bro. Building the characters, the story. I really like this episode. It's a nice intro. The music is pretty cool. I know that they're probably not gonna play a lot of the classic songs until maybe the last two episodes or whatever, or whenever there's like a real serious duel or something, or just like a real epic moment or something. Like, I really thought that they was gonna play one of the theme songs when Obi-Wan was looking at the lightsabers, but I guess not. I know that they really wanna keep a lot of the classic songs to the main stories you know the movies but it's like this is a main story this is a main character you feel me like you should you know treat it with the respect that he deserves i feel like the acting was all right when it comes to the little girl you know i, I understand when it comes to kids it's a little bit harder for them to act because you know they're kids they don't really have that much information and all that stuff uh i felt like the effects were cool the makeup design was all right yeah we talked about this. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. We spent the last 10 years looking for him. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. You're not one of us. 
I don't understand why he showed more attention to Luke than Leia. Like, you could have trained Luke and Leia. I understand that Tatooine is probably super far away from Leia's planet, but you know, you could have trained Leia first and then trained Luke, cause you know, Uncle Owen wants to be real hard headed. If only Mace Windu was here. I know there's a lot of people that still think he's alive. Look at the design right there, ew, look at them earthworms. Help a veteran get a warm meal. Wow, that's straight messed up. You're not a part of the empire? Whoa, that's interesting right there. That gave me so many questions. You telling me they made all them clones and then that's when they just kicked some of them to the curb? You want some spice, old man? What do you uh, mean? You don't want to do this in the, about like some the, information. On the corner or something or in the alley? I'm looking for my daughter, right in front of but she was taken and she's on this planet. I was someone's daughter once too. Oh damn, I don't think I asked. That one's free. A couple more of those and you'll forget she ever existed. There's a Jedi. He helps people. I'll take you to him for the right price. Shoot, you can have these drill exam little kids. <laughs> Shoot, I don't want these damn things. Safe now. I won't let anything happen to you. Oh, so that was his role in this show? He's a Jedi. Okay. Yo, this dude in Star Wars and he in Marvel, that boy getting that check. All right, I see you, Camille. I am inside your mind. You're inside the mind. I'm sending a mother and son to your gate. You will let them through when they arrive. Oh, he a I'm bullshitter. <laughs> they are to be given safe passage to Corellia. <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> Forrest is so strong with you. Yeah, I know. Thank you for helping us. How you gonna say the force is so the strong? Jedi you must don't protect know nothing the about the force, sons ability to It's just so weird seeing this dude like so freaking safe, ripped one. now, man. This whole sequence right here reminds me of a mission in the Witcher 3 video game where there's a dude who's impersonating a Witcher. I'm looking for a Jedi. A girl has been kidnapped. I need your help to find her. <laughs> I am Haja S3. Just got his homeboy pressing buttons in the background. How much? 500 to locate the girl, another 300 to take you to her. Goodness, that light is unforgiving. I mean, that's a really good deal. <laughs> Make it a thousand, I'll even show you some tricks. My friend. Just there's a lot of remotes and magnets. Whoa, Obi-Wan. You're a bottom feeder. So he's a scoundrel, my experience, okay. Red. Seeing a planet like this is making me want to play the Star Wars The Old Republic. I used to love playing that game, but then that's when I like, forgot my password to my old account, so I had to make a new account. But now I don't even feel like starting all over. I was like at level 50, I think. But I might eventually, because it's still a great game. I just wish that they would have it come out on PlayStation. I don't really like using mouse and keyboard. I know there's a lot of people that love using mouse and keyboard. I don't. I don't know what it is about mouse and keyboard. I think it just makes the game more responsive or something. I don't know. To me, it just is doing too damn much. <laughs> oh, look at his design. Look at his mouth. Oh, it looks so cool, bro. Ah, so unique. How do they keep coming up with these designs, bro? I know it's so hard. What are you doing back here? Oh, minding my business? What about oh, you? Oh, I seem to have lost my way. Yeah, he rested, you feel me? He rested. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Obi-Wan. You better master that spin. Oh, he slapped him in his horn. Where's the girl? <laughs> Yo. I did not expect that we was gonna see a scene like that. Hell yeah, I'm all here for it. Oh, well, okay. So they knew he was coming. You know, I figured you'd be smarter than to risk everything for a spoiled little Shoot, how did y'all know I was here though? Where is the girl? She must be close. Doesn't matter. You're not getting out of here. You're not a Jedi anymore, Kenobi. 
<laughs> so far, this show is giving me a lot of stuff that I was hoping this show would give me. Just a whole new aspect of this world, man. Wait. Let go of me. Wait. I'm here to help you. I really like the design of the dude with the horns, man. I mean, I forget what was the correct name for the species that Darth Maul is. I always thought that they all looked the same. You're a Jedi? Shh, quiet. Nah, girl, this is a replica. You know, I collect stuff. We need to make the last transport. Okay, then let's go. Wait. Whoa. Yo. <laughs> You would kidnap an Imperial Senator's child. We've done worse. You have no right. All the power in the world can't mask the stench beneath. Maybe that stench is your upper lip. Secure the city. I will take Kenobi in myself. You are no longer required, sister. Why don't you have them deal with her right now? I want every lowlife and bounty hunter on this planet to know Kenobi is here. I didn't think that they was gonna fire her like in the second episode, man. Oh, that's designed so badass! Yo! Can I try this one instead? Half the city is looking for you. Put this on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna wear something that's gonna freaking have you stand out. Come on, girl. And the this girl freaking hard-headed, bruh. If anyone asks, we're farmers from Tall and you're my daughter. Granddaughter, maybe. What? Nothing. Girl, don't make me pimp slap. <laughs> this girl right here is something else. Don't touch anything. You sound like my parents. This is crazy. This girl got kidnapped Why and it's like she didn't learn her nothing. Saber? Maybe it's because you're not really a Jedi. Okay, this girl's starting to get annoying, bro. Jedi can make things float. Make me float. What? I what? wanna float. No. No, because just you can't. pick her little ass because up and then run the to the damn ship. You have to trust me eventually. How can I trust you when I know you're high? Oh my God, Leia, shut up. <laughs> you think the less you say, the less you give away. But really, it's the opposite. How old are you? 10. You don't sound like your 10. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't. I guess that's something to be really proud of, you know, how intelligent she is. We had him. Look at this reward. Oh, that's embarrassing. Let's get to him first. I knew he was a scoundrel, man. What? Oh! Dang! <laughs> Hit that boy with a Mortal Kombat uppercut. Yo, what's up with this girl? Why are you still freaking trying to hunt down Obi-Wan Kenobi? You're not an Inquisitor anymore. Or unless she still is an Inquisitor, Stay he just said now. that you're not involved in this mission no more or something. She was ripped to pieces by kidnappers. I mean, we ain't got time She'll for this. Right, though. What is that? Oh, Good come goodbye. on. No, 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 no. Yeah. Don't do That's that. Don't do that. We're hiding. You're the reason I'm here. They took me to get to you. Oh, dang, she's smart. Wow, she caught on fast. You gotta lift her up, man. She said, let her float. <laughs> this little girl right here just had to cause some drama, bro. This is ridiculous, man. That has to be one of the coolest designs I ever seen in a Star Wars property, bro. Oh snap, man, that girl had me scared for a little bit. You need to be careful. Bro, I understand that you are rusty. Use your Jedi speed. This girl on the top of the roof like she Batman or something. What? <laughs> okay, that was badass. Oh snap, this girl parkouring and shit. Oh snap, oh. Yo, this girl running like it's the Matrix. Or I would say she maneuvering like it's the Matrix. I think I think she's gonna make the jump. She's gonna do a Jedi jump and she's gonna be like, how did I do that? Or a force jump, I should say. Oh my God, bro, the tension right here is so good. Oh my god! Okay, this girl doing the most. <laughs> oh, shit. hold on! 
Gotta make her float, bruh. Leonardo! Uh. You should have been did that, bro. <laughs> so this whole part of this episode is probably my favorite part of the show so far. You really are a Jedi. Shoot, what is your favorite Star Wars video game? I'll say mine is probably The Force Unleashed. I never uh, played the Knights of the Old Republic. I can't wait for them to fully remaster that game. Oh, listen carefully. The entire city's locked down. It's done. You need another exit. It's a cargo port. It's fully automated. They won't be looking for you there. You're a criminal. Look, have I made a few bad decisions? Sure. Do I feel bad about it? Sometimes. Do I like credits? Yeah. You tell me they can't see them through this alley. They like right across the street. I know she put a bounty on Kenobi. Where is he? Please show me. Please show me. I want to see it. Oh, he cut his dick off. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Man, I love what this girl Finally has been doing with the meet. directing so far. You're as good as they say. Good out of my face. What's the bounty on me now? A million? <laughs> like, well, I don't even know who you are. Where is he? Ah, that was a magnet, was it? <laughs> what did you ask? You know what? I'm not gonna answer it. You oh, she has that force power too? Damn! I thought Kylo was probably the only one that had that. Then they won't look for us here. Well, not unless it's a setup. Is it that hard to believe you might have friends? Mm, so he's gonna think yeah. that this is a setup so now because the girl is gonna chased, show up. Shot at, I almost fell to my death, and now there are inquisiting people after us. I mean, well, a lot of the stuff that happened was your fault. You feel me? You don't want to be hard headed. Nothing, you just remind me of someone. She was fearless too, and stubborn. I'm not stubborn. Yes, you are. I'm not. Padme wasn't really too? stubborn though, was she? I don't know, I haven't seen the prequels in so long. Bro, you already know she's gonna sense you being here. Let's get it, bro. The anticipation is killing me. Your fear betrays you. Girl, you don't know shit. What are you talking about? You probably still a trainee. Lord Vader will be pleased. You didn't know. He's alive, Obi-Wan. Oh shit! Oh yeah, he did not know. Anakin Skywalker is alive. Yo, I feel like I'm right there with him, man. I'm feeling all that anxiety, bro. I can stand the reek of your ambition no longer. Oh, she's about to kill him. Yeah, because this dude ain't no Sith, bro. Uh, really think I'd let you take all the credit? Yeah, that dude deserved to die, bro. I don't know what was up with that dude right there. We will destroy you! I mean, I, I just, I still don't buy her as being a villain, bro. Her, her voice, it just sounds a little too innocent. And I know she's trying her best to have it sound menacing, but it just, it doesn't. What is that? That boy is experiencing some PTSD right now. Anakin. <laughs> Yo, we seeing him right now? <laughs> oh. Great shot, and I love the music in the background, bro. That was so badass. Like, oh, uh, it's terrifying, bro. It made me feel kind of icky, bro. You seeing his design? Oh my goodness. I didn't think they was gonna show him this early. Wow. This episode was great, man. This was so much better than the first episode. They are doing such a good job, and I, I love the way they're going with this show, bro. Basically, what I'm saying is, I, I like that they are showing that this man obi-wan is trying his best to stay away from the jedi way you know he, he's afraid of his failure and he has so much ptsd he just doesn't want to be involved in that again and it was just really cool to see him doing some hand-to-hand -hand combat instead of just immediately bringing out his lightsaber I, I really like that touch i hope that we see more of that i can't wait to see what other stories that they bring up when it comes to this world in star wars you can come up with millions of stories it's the 
the galaxy. You know how big the galaxy is? You can create a new character almost every single day if you wanted to. I don't know why they don't. The Obi-Wan series. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this episode and you enjoyed this video you know please like share comment down below subscribe click the bell so you know when i upload more videos and then follow me on all my social medias the links will be down in the description below like instagram twitter discord twitch all that type of stuff and if you want to see my full link reaction to the episodes here the movies i do the other tv shows i do you can click the link down below to my patreon the acting on you and mcgregor side is just so nice to see man you know it's just really good to see him playing this character again i grew up watching the prequels uh one of the first movies i ever saw was star wars phantom menace to me it was good like at the time watching it as a kid i didn't feel bored when they was talking about <laughs> Trade regulation. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm thinking about uh, pitch meetings, bro. I, I can't wait to see what Hayden Christensen does with Darth Vader, and I know that we're going to see more of his face. You know, just so people can know, yes, this is Hayden. But so far, when it comes to the acting, I feel like the acting is okay. Though I feel like the only one that's actually doing a really good job is. Ewan McGregor, but everybody else, they're they're like, you know, it's all right. You feel me? I wish they could have did a little better, but you know, it was cool. I mean, Joel Edgerton in that small amount of time that he had, he did very good as well. Also, I'll say that the directing throughout these first two episodes has been phenomenal. Deborah Chow is really showing her chops right here. I can't wait to hear y'all thoughts when it comes to this show. Are you liking this show so far? Uh, I hope that you are. If you're not, you know, I'm sorry. It breaks my heart a little bit because I'm loving this. I'm really loving this, man. But with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace.